Now the Sim2 Wireless is one of my favorite mice, and so when Ponish announced the upgraded Ambi Wireless, I got really excited. Now just like the Sim2, it comes in both honeycomb and solid options with removable top and back shells. However, this time the side buttons on both sides as well as the DPI button can come off too and even be replaced with other colors. Now the shape is a lot closer to the Superlight, though it's a little bit smaller for a much shorter back tail, and the skates are good as always. The mouse weighs between 71 and 78 grams, which is actually heavier than the original Sim 2. Now the switches they're using are kill 8.0s, and the click tensioning has been greatly improved from the Sim 2. The clicks generally feel pretty good, but for some reason, the right click on my copy has nearly no pre-travel, and I can't use any of the button spaces above 0.6mm. This makes the right click feel really dull, and I hope the pre-travel on both buttons on future batches are much more consistent. Now for the Minecraft clearance, yes, it still gets crazy high CPS, and the clicks are good for all three clicking methods. Now for Finally, I'm going to talk about the adjustable sensor. Honestly, I do find it interesting, but also pretty useless. In my opinion, what most people struggle with in-game isn't really their aim consistency which Punish is trying to fix, it's the speed at which they achieve that consistency which is where weight comes into play. Now I feel that having a lower weight is still more important than the adjustability of the sensor location, and unfortunately, they've chosen to sacrifice the former. Personally, I don't see a reason to recommend the Ponish Ambi since I do still find myself performing better on the Sim 2. If you do like the shape of the Ponish Ambi, I'd recommend just getting a Hadi S or the G Pro Superlight. Overall, it's still a very good mouse, but it's just not better than the competition and definitely not the perfect mouse I'd hoped it would be.